Hi guys, good morning. Welcome back to our next lecture for Bob Graph series. So basically, in this we will see one of the most amazing important thing, which is bipartite graph. How to find the graph is bipartite. What actually is a bipartite graph, and so on and so forth. But before that, uh, for after solving it, after understanding, a few questions which you can try by yourselves are given above, and we will act actually solve the core problem of bipartite graph cool now before starting okay and what that bipartite graph means by means two so basically it just says that color the graph color the graph with two colors such that no adjacent node have the same color which means i have a graph I have to color the graph with exactly two colors such that no two adjacent nodes should have same color ultimately. Is it possible to color graph such that it is it is it it, it is possible or not? We have to just show that thing. Cool. Let's quickly look at the examples. What I mean by coloring the graph and coloring the adjacent nodes. If I have a graph something like this, what I can do is I can color this node with a blue. I can color this with pink, this with pink, because I want the adjacent node to be of different color. If I color this with pink, then I will color this with blue and blue. But if this color is colored with blue, I have to color this with the pink. Oh, which means it is saying because of this pink, it should be blue. Because of this blue, it should be pink. A node cannot be both pink and blue, right? That is the reason it is not a bipartite graph. While if in this case, I will say, okay, um, it is blue. The both adjacent should be pink, pink. Cool. Then it is pink, then it is blue, blue, cool. It is pink, it is blue, blue, cool. It is blue, then it should be pink, pink, cool. It is blue, it should be pink, pink, cool. Yeah, every node is satisfying the property and it is saying, okay, the adjacent node is of different color. For sure, it's a bipartite graph. If I just, just see one more example, okay, it is blue, it is pink. It is pink, it is blue, blue. It is blue, it is pink, pink. It is pink, it is blue, blue. It is blue, it is pink. Oh, that is also a bipartite graph. So one thing by this example itself, I can easily see one thing that if the graph is linear or the graph is having an even length cycle, then it is always possible to color the graph such that two adjacent nodes have different colors. But if the graph is having an odd length cycle, one, two, three, four, five, does it will never be possible to color the graph as bipartite so it can actually bring out another concept firstly in this video we will see okay what is a bipartite graph but to actually know if any graph has an odd length cycle or not then just simply go and check if that graph is bipartite or not if that graph is not bipartite which means it has an odd length cycle so this bipartite logic can also help you indirectly to find if any graph has an odd length cycle or not. So please remember this fact that you can also find if a graph has an odd length cycle or not by just saying if that graph is bipartite or not. Cool. Now, that's so amazing concept of bipartite and also it is actually useful in our real life also. Uh, as we saw that we can easily find okay if the graph is having odd length cycle or not. But um how to actually find if a graph is having uh like it's a bipartite graph or not simple right just simply when you are said perform an operation just perform the operation which means i said that you will start from a node and will try to color all the just nodes with a different color so just follow this procedure which means start from a node and try to color the adjacent node with a different color and that is it Simply and what what we mean by start from a node and go into the adjacent nodes, a simple traversal. So I'll do a simple graph traversal and we'll try to color the graph such that if I'm starting from a node, I'll color this with one color, let's say blue. I'll try to color the adjacent node with the pink and then I'll get and try to color the adjacent node with the blue, pink, blue, pink. If at any step it is not possible, I'll just return it's not a bipartite graph. But if it is entirely possible, I say okay, it's a bipartite graph as simple as that simply do a graph traversal just start coloring the nodes at any point you see okay it is not possible now just return false which means it's not a bipartite else else if it is going on going on going on and the graph is completely colored your graph is now bipartite so your task is not to find the bipartiteness your task is to just color the graph 
such that all the nodes have different color which means adjacent node have different colors cool for sure if we just say about graph traversals the first thing which comes in our mind is bfs or a dfs you can do it by both the ways both are very 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 easy we will see the way of dfs in the next lecture but here we will see just a breadth per search way what we mean by breadth per search simply firstly our task is to start coloring the graph which means color the adjacent node with a different color which is okay if i have color blue i will color the adjacent node as pink if i have pink i will color the adjacent node as blue if it is already not if it is already not colored if already colored then just check if that is actually a blue or a pink if i am a blue and my adjacent is also already colored and it's a pink okay it's fine but if i am blue and my adjacent also a blue i am screwed up that's not a bipartite graph cool uh, that is also that is only what we have to do in this problem cool 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 now quickly let's see how we will color the graph simply as we have a simple bfs algorithm i will start from one node let's say i start from the node zero i'll color and for sure you can see when we traverse a graph we will need one thing called as a visited array we will need the color because for sure i'm coloring the graph so i need a color array also can i merge these two array in one which means is it actually required to use a visited array no right i can simply use this color array itself to say okay if that node is already visited or not which means i will initialize my color as minus one which will say okay if the color array is minus one which means that node is not yet colored which means not yet visited entirely so if it is a zero i will say it is a color blue if it is a one it's a color pink so with this either zero or a one will show okay it is colored and also it is visited so by using only one array as color i don't need a visited array at all cool now very good i'll start from a node zero i push that node in my queue i will color that node with a blue cool that node is colored as node zero is colored as a blue color and i am representing my blue color with a zero and pink color with a one now as the queue as the zero goes out of queue it will try to push in its adjacent nodes one and two in the queue okay one and two are pushed in the queue and it will also try to color them as what as pink it will try to color them as pink it is colored as pink now my one and two are colored as pink now actually next time one will go out of queue it will see okay zero it's adjacent because one's adjacent is zero and three zero is already visited and also it is visited with the color as blue and for sure if i am one i am pink i'll i'll say okay blue is good cool blue is good other node other neighbor was three three was not visited okay cool no worries visit that node i will visit a three and will also mark its color as blue okay three color is done cool next node will come as two two's adjacent neighbor is zero and four for sure zero is already visited and with and visited with the color as blue cool that is okay okay to me four is not visited i will just simply go and visit the four and will choose the color of four as blue because i am a pink i was a two i am a pink i will color my adjacent neighbor as what blue cool four is now visited and visit with the color as blue now comes the chance of three three will say okay i am i will visit okay it is blue my adjacent neighbors are one and four i will visit both of them if not visited okay one and four one is already visited is it a pink yeah it is a pink cool no worries four is already also visited yeah cool no worries is it a pink no it is not it is a blue four is a blue four is a blue i am if i am three you are my jason neighbor i am blue so you should be a pink but you are a blue okay it is saying that it should have been a pink but it's actually a blue that's a worry for me and this graph is not a bipartite because that i am trying to color that node and it's already colored and colored with the same color as that of me sorry that is not done not done and this graph is not bipartite and this is how you will simply go and traverse the graph simply try to color the graph by just a nodes if already colored see if that color is a different color as that of me cool if the same color you are done gone that graph is not a bipartite graph that is all simply you have to do in this problem let's quickly look at the code it's very 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 easy exactly what we have to do simply start from a node go to adjacent neighbors if not visited just visit them and color them differently with that with of my color and you will ask aryan why you choose the number as zero and one 
See, it is just very easy to convert from 0 to 1 and 1 to 0 by just a simply not operation. Not of 0 is 1 and not of 1. Not of 1 is actually 0. So it's mostly when the colors are in programming in general, when the colors are say, okay, it is 2, you have to color it with 2. So it is usually taken as 0 and 1. That is the reason. Else you can take any color, 1, 2, 1, 4, any, any, any two colors you can take. It's up to you. Cool. Um, let's quickly jump into the code. It's very easy. Firstly, I will just say, okay, my entire color array should be marked as minus one. Why minus one? Because I'm saying that color array, color array, I will use that to say that no graph is not visited at all. Okay, that is minus one, which means not visited. I will just mark my entire color array as minus one. Now, I will go on to every of my nodes and will just check. Okay, if that color is not visited. I will just do an entire BFS traversal in that particular component of the graph. Now, Aryan, why you are going into the loop at every node and we just do doing a BFS traversal? Because there can be multiple components in a graph. We had been seeing in the last lecture also that if we have multiple components, we have to check for every component of the graph. Thus, I'm checking for every component. For that component starting, if that node, if that node is not a bipartite graph so simply that graph is also not bipartite which means if that component of the graph is not bipartite so that graph is also not bipartite so i am saying for every component okay if any component is not bipartite my graph is also not bipartite so i'm trying to check for every component bipartiteness now as I go on to this node, I'll say, I'll say, okay, if this node is not visited, just visit that node, which means just to start the BFS traversal from that node, and I will just start the BFS traversal. This BFS traversal will just say, will just return me if that component of the graph was a bipartite or not. If that is not, simply return a false. But if it is, then cool, no worries, keep on going in the loop itself. Keep on going. Ultimately, if this false is never returned, which means all the components were bipartite, simply return a true in the last. Now, as to check, okay, if that component is a, a bipartite or not, so simply go and check for the BFS traversal. As we do in a simple BFS traversal, we have a queue, we push in the first node in the queue. Then also, if that node is now visited, now visiting, you can start from any color itself. I start from the color zero. Now, cool, no worries. I just, by just, by this, the, I just this, I, I'm just saying that, okay, that graph node is visited and also with the color as a zero. Now, I will keep on going until my queue is empty. Just find the front node. Just remove that node from the queue. It's a simple BFS traversal which I have done so far. But just that difference that the color I have marked as zero, which means blue initially. Now, I will go on to the neighbors of that node and I will just try to color those. I'll just check them. If the neighbor is already not colored, if the neighbor is minus one, which means not colored, please go and simply color with that of the opposite colors that of me. Node color is actually I'll just say, okay, what is the node, what is the node color? Node color is this. My neighbor color, which means my neighbor color, it should be opposite of that of my node color. That's the reason. I'll just say, okay, my neighbor color is opposite of that of my, like my node color. Neighbor color opposite of that of node color. Thus, I'll just simply say, okay, that neighbor node is, that neighbor color is opposite now and simply go and push that in my cube. Now, after coloring that, cool, no worries, it's colored. But, 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 what if, if that node, if that neighbor node would already have been colored? Already colored? No worries. I have no worries. But, if it is of different color, I have no worries at all. But, if it is of same color, it's not a, it's not a bipartite graph. So, if that, if it, it goes to else, which means it's already colored. Now, if it is of the same color as that of my node, which means neighbor color is same as that of the node color. Which means both have same colors. That's not a bipartite graph. No, no. false. Return false. Instantly return a false. Else if it just goes on entire graph, all the neighbors are making different colors. It just goes on entirely. Entire BFS is done. Now, if that false is never returned, which means 
all the nodes are colored all the nodes are colored such that my neighbor is of different color simply return a true and that is how you can simply solve this particular problem by simple graph traversal start from a node try to color the adjacent node if already colored just check if they should not be of same color as that of me if different colors no worries move on move on move on going ultimately just return a true and you are good to go now complexity simply o of b plus c by a simple bfs traversal you are simply traversing every vertex in every edge exactly once because of your color array because that color array will just help you say okay if that is already visited or not and also will help you color by zero and one and also spaces o of v because of the q which you take and also the color array which you take now the code of c plus plus and java is down below for your reference i hope that you guys got the entire c never ever 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 mug up these concepts it's nothing but okay you know you have what is a bipartite graph just color the adjust node with the different colors simply start the traversal start from a node simply start traversing the graph try to color the node if at any point you cannot color the node if it is already colored if, and that you are trying to color with the different color just return a false else simply if it it can be traversed entirely simply say true because that graph is now a bipartite graph cool i hope that i hope that you guys got it see you in another video take care bye